you. from all of us. Uh, first of all, we'd like to thank all of you for being here today. Uh, for mom and dad and for our whole family, we know what your friendship has meant to them all these years. And to have you here today means a lot to all of us, so thank you. Um, all of us playing this day, it's been a great experience for all of us because we've been able to look back um, at our time together as a family. And we've realized a few things in doing so. Um, we realized how lucky we, we've all been to have you as our parents. Um, as we all get older, we start to realize the things that you sacrificed for us. Uh, the things that, as children, we all took for granted, and things that we can never fully repent. We want to thank you for that. Um, there's so much over the years that we want to thank you for all the games and practices, the uh, school events, plays, the parent-teacher council, the doctor's appointments. <laughs> um, <laughs> Many of the things that you um, the things that we all cherish are you know like the family vacations we've all taken. The one that sticks out for all of us is the ten hour car ride to Washington DC <laughs> in a Chevy station wagon with no AC on a hundred degree day. Uh other seats and no AC. Um, we stopped at Roy Rogers. <laughs> Which sort of leads into our next point. Uh, uh, we want to thank you for everything. We also want to say a few apologies. <laughs> Mom, we want to say we're sorry that we ruined your cable in this sweater. <laughs> or hang on it and you never got to wear it. <laughs> and Dad, we want to say we're sorry for the various things that we've done with the cars and the house. <laughs> I'm going to be bad at that. <laughs> but, but most of all, we want to know that your love and respect for each other is really an example for all of us. As we all get older and we begin starting our own families, the fact that we all are here together like this, the fact that we prefer to be with each other more than anyone else in the world, that we're all best friends, is a testament to you and the love that you've had for each other and the love that you've shown us all these years. So I have a few apologies of my own. <laughs> Sorry that we broke your ceramic nativity set and glued it back together. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> but I guess it worked out okay in the end. Um, you know, just things we've been talking about, you know, some of our best memories have been holidays. Um, you know, we were really at, in Salem, our unit, the unit, we spent most of our time together. So aside from day-to-day -day family life, we, you know, we think about holidays, you know, waking up. Christmas morning, opening up the presents, wondering why mom and dad are so tired. <laughs> we remember Halloween when we, we would have to hide all our candy so that mom wouldn't find it when we were at school. <laughs> we, still have, you know, we still have the same traditions every Thanksgiving. You know, we just we spend time together. We have dinner. We watch football, and we just we just enjoy each other's company. And so we thank you for that. And. So now that we're adults, it's very gratifying for us to see now that you still, your relationship with each other, you still have the same respect, you're still friends, you still like to, to find out new things about each other, and you're still experiencing um, new adventures together, and that just, that really uh, means the world to us. Um, so, once again, thank, thank you everyone for coming, and please raise your glass to Mom and Dad. Yeah, yeah. Did anybody get a picture of Beauty and the Beast? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>